Finally, Robert, uh, I met you through the HR hacking chapter here in Vancouver, and HR hacking started with Enrique Rubio. So can you tell me more about what HR hacking chapter doing differently than other uh, meetup groups, and what's the purpose of that? Yeah, it's, it's fairly interesting because, you know, I was around in Cincinnati in the beginning of Disrupt HR, oh, about 18, 19 years ago. And um, so it was interesting to see that evolution. But, you know, now Disrupt HR is, is great on the talking side of it, and it's ins inspirational and motivating. But what I found, I kept hearing from participants is, yeah, I don't feel full you know, so to speak. And like, I didn't think I got anything out of it other than feeling a little bit better. So I thought to myself, wow, I said, you know, somebody really needs to come up with a conference whereby people have got like a couple nuggets they can, you know, walk away with. And lo and behold, um, I found on LinkedIn, Enrique, who said, hey, I'm doing this hacking HR thing. And basically what we do is we talk about what I'm passionate about, you know, data, and HR tech and evidence-based HR and analytics and folk, you know, HR folks being more business-minded. But what we're going to do is we're not going to talk about it in, in, in the inspirational, motivational field. What we will do is discuss how everyday people, everyday HR people solve the problem, mm -hmm. not all the, of HR's problem, but maybe one small problem, and then you know, a little bit of a case study and then summarize it in one or two hacks. Mm -hmm. So that you end up with a conference with six or seven speakers, you walk out of there with anywhere from six to ten hacks, right? What did they do differently or how did they, did they invent a better mousetrap or something else like that? And um, so both the conferences and the meetups are focused on the, you know, creating these hacks. Now, the interesting piece is the meetups, smaller groups, you know, 30 people usually break out into group, uh, three different separate groups. They handle a topic area, but it's the same thing. When they report back to the group, they summarize it and they basically give one or two hacks where, uh, you know, they somebody in that group has come up with a solution so that, you know, within an hour you walk away. Yeah. You've just learned three, four ways to do yeah. it differently. Yeah. So again, more focus on the practical. Yeah especially, here, the, yeah, yeah, especially here in Vancouver, there's a lot of meetup groups. A lot of people are trying to bring something new. But I, what I liked about the HR hack is that, as you mentioned, there are a few things that you can take with you and then you can implement and or have a conversation with your colleagues and make, making sure that we're updated or making with the changes that's happening around the world. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, with that, Robert, uh, we are at the end of our interview. So again, thank you for taking the time to have this conversation with me. And I think we have discussed so many things. And, and I hope that uh, employers or job seekers will hear them and then try to implement them in 2019. And for those of you watching, if you like any of the videos, or uh, please like and share. And if you want any more questions, you can reach out to our social media both Robert and me, and we are more than happy to have that conversation with you. Again, thank you, Robert, and have a great day. All right, Bye. you're quite welcome. You as well. Bye, everyone.